Hi guys, it's a bit of a catch up video on the van, just so you didn't think I disappeared altogether. It's a bit noisy around here at the moment, we're putting new windows in the house. It's another job. Anyway, what we've done here is I've insulated the inside of the van and quite a big job here because I've double insulated this with styrofoam. All this is double styrofoam and I've left the old insulator that was in there before. The plan here is to actually have this open space as we've talked about before and keep it as wide and open as possible. I wanted to get all the fixtures in before I put my styrofoam on the floor and the walls and I put these battens in so that I could... The battens are basically the same thickness as the styrofoam that I was using. And then I pushed in some insulator behind that and then put my final coat of styrofoam on the surface. Polystyrene styrofoam, same thing. So there's a vent, as you can probably see right there, there's a vent. And that vent is for um, ventilation. It's going to circulate the air and I'm going to be talking about air circulation inside these vehicles later. But in order to keep this as warm as possible, the insulation had to be as thick as possible. So I've got a long way to do that. One of the most important things was the inside of the door, getting rid of all the metal and the insides of the doors and insulating the insides of the doors. The problem with that is it's quite difficult to insulate the inside of these doors. This is the, the door up at the moment. As you can see, it's quite tricky and, and a bit of a pain to do, to be honest with you. So what I did was I put in these battens around the frame here, all the way around and on this side. And then what I can do is I can fasten a material onto this. Later on, I can put a thick layer of material and I'm going to build a blind or make a blind with either magnets or Velcro, um, uh, Velcro on the back of it to stick to this so it seals off all the drafts. I did exactly the same thing at the front. You can probably see there's a frame that goes around there and that'll seal off the cabin for the same reason. Sealing off the cabin when it's either hot outside or cold outside, it'll seal that off completely and that's the plan there. So the styrofoam that I put on the floors here, I'm actually going to, I put the boards on as well as you can see and I'm going to be putting this down first on top of the boards before I put the first carpet down. The wardrobe that I fitted here, I fitted this wardrobe because I wanted to put the fixtures in first that I needed. There will be on this side a fold away kitchen. Um, the, the, the unit will actually fold out when I need to do some cooking and I'll fold it away the same as the bed. And as you know, on this side, the bed will fold up here. So I built the bat, this out a little bit further so that I can leave my covers on when I fold the bed away, which is gonna be really important because I don't wanna be undoing this and taking, putting things away. And the cabinets that I've decided to put on the surface of this wood, down here will again be thin cabinets. I don't want to go too far here. I'm going to keep these quite narrow. They'll be coming out to about there, about there. So it'll be quite slim cabinets, drawers along the bottom, and then I'm going to build a box on about this level, a box on top of that for all my big stuff. And I'll be putting some hatches on the top of that. So it'll be a surface unit that when the bed folds down, of course, I've got my full length bed that'll cover all that up. Um, and then on the wardrobe, I've got somewhere to hang my shirts and suits, which is really important when you're on the move. I've also used that to put my battery in there. And I've, in addition, 
put in my temporarily put in my electrical fittings um, and I did that so that I could play with this underfloor heating and I'll show you that if I can set the camera down and then I can show you how this underfloor heating works okay this stuff I'm pretty excited about what it is it's a carbon based heater it has two strips of copper here and the car this is carbon in the center which actually heats up and it's actually very energy efficient so I'm going to cut these into four separate units it runs down the center here and I'm going to cut them into four units so I can switch them on and switch them off as I need more heat or less heat if I just want to keep that ambient heat I can have one of them running but it will keep the, the, the galley nice and warm when I'm in there so I've got my first carpet going down on top of the the foil and then my second carpet on top of that of course um, and that's going to give me all the heat that I need so this stuff I'll be doing a few experiments with it I'm going to be doing some tile work with it putting using tiles on top of it to see if it's a better way of producing heat obviously energy wise you're only going to be producing as much heat as you have as you use energy but with the insulation in this I'm hoping that I don't have to heat it too much it's really well insulated now and that's really important it is critical when you're doing something like this is to keep as many drafts out as you possibly can and I've gone a long way to do that and to keep the drafts out of here it's actually snowing here at the moment it's uh, we got a lot of snow and it's uh, temperatures pretty cold so I'm excited about testing this stuff out to see if the van's going to be a lot warmer and I'll be showing you that in future videos so guys I don't think I've forgotten everything anything um, oh uh, yeah I mentioned the fold out um, there's a fold out table here again I have to repeat this the, uh, the the whole goal here is to try and make this an open space so that you've got as much space as possible when you're in there when I'm watching television that folds down from here I've got my lounge chair up there and I've got a nice wide open space I can fold down my dining table when I want to eat I can fold up my kitchen when I want to cook and I can fold up my bed when I want to sleep so everything's fold away everything's collapsible and I've got that nice wide open space that's what's really important so guys look forward to talking to you in future videos giving you an update on the heating and how that heating work and how how efficient that is um, I will talk to you soon please remember to subscribe thanks for all your comments and feedback I really appreciate it talk to you soon